Hi everyone, so today we're going to talk about tripods and other forms of stabilization. The general gist of this is that you have three legs, tri, pod, and you have some sort of head on the tripod. This is to help you pan the camera and to tilt the camera. Um, attached to that is a quick release plate which you would actually screw on and that's what allows you to take it on and off the tripod fairly quickly. So there's a few different types of tripods out there and they all essentially do the same thing. This tripod has a fixed head and you have this little leveler here that lets you know when your base is nice and even on, the, on whatever surface you're shooting on. When shooting, you wanna make sure that you dig your feet in tight, that they're nice and snug in the ground, that they're secure. You wanna make sure that you're not putting your tripod like that because once you put the weight of the camera on, it goes falling over. There are other tripods out there that have a ball head here. And what that allows you to do is, even if this is still slightly off balance, you can adjust just the head of the tripod to be balanced. So there's a few scenarios where I love my tripod and love using it. Um, one of them is in the studio where you can take the same shot over and over again without ever having to touch your camera. One of my other favorite uses for a tripod is night photography. A lot of the times you have to go to slower shutter speeds, you have to do long exposures, and it's near impossible to do that with just your hands. The tripod allows you to check your framing, look at what the photo is that you're taking, and adjust. There's a lot of variety when it comes to a tripod. There's many different you know, brands, different amounts of money you can spend on these things, and at the end of the day, it's three legs with some sort of head. And depending on your needs, you don't need to go spend a lot of money on this. It's something that as you get more professional, as you get better gigs, there's many different ways you can use this thing. Make sure that you put it on a nice level ground. Make sure you screw in the base plate really tight. And that's a tripod. <laughs>